This is me, a 21 year old who has been training for 5 years but only boxed for 2 years. This is me doing a men's physique posing routine that I learned all on my own. And as you can see, I sucks. If you are new here, my name is Marco C, a second last year college student studying nutritional science. I am small as hell. <laughs> Later today, I will be having a posing session with a famous posing coach in Hong Kong. See you soon! Hey, what's up, video? Wait, that's Coach Brian Out. Thank you. Oh. Ah, so many one. Ah, Coach Out. Because I started this workshop, I think the idea or the goal is what? Actually, I don't know what the idea is. But I just want to make sure that the students who are attending the workshop, at the beginning of the workshop, will have a little bit of a feeling for the last week or something. Like, if they are trying to control their water or their food, they will have a little bit of a basic understanding. Because this aspect is quite difficult. Even though they have been playing for a long time, they will have a little bit of a feeling for the workshop. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that the students who are attending the workshop, 基本嘅認識先，跟住之後再喺 pose 嗰度再執佢哋咯。經營呢一個健身室，於 Coach H K 嘅時候，大概背後嘅理念啦，或者一啲嘅目標係啲乜嘢？我就不嬲都好想擁有自己一間健身室嘅，咁就因為、啊、可能有陣時候我會去外國比賽嘅時候咧，咁就可能用嗰啲儀器咧就比較特別，即係可能喺香港都未用過。咁我又好難喺香港揾一間 gym 係有曬我自己中意嘅嘢，咁所以我就誒、呃、決定自己整一間，然後之後將我自己最中意嘅機放曬喺入去，同埋。就係、是、想喺呢度教學生嘅時候，佢哋可以好似我咁樣，唔使離開香港都可以去到一間健身室，好似喺外國嗰種感覺，即係可以去試多啲唔同嘅嘢。明白，因為我都好少可見香港係有 Prime Fitness 嘅誒 Set Set Machine 啦 ，Lift Press Lift Press Lift Curl 同埋嗰個 Functional Trainer， 即係香港第一次。係啊，都都有好多都係香港冇啊，其實真係就唔係話因為人哋冇嗰啲賣，就係純粹因為我覺得啲嘢真係好多，咁亦都喺教人嘅時間，即係佢哋即係其實好有趣。好多謝 Coach 啊，因為接受我呢、這個誒細微嘅訪問，係陣間見，拜拜。To be honest, I think that the mask is bigger, so we can do more exercise. But now, with the mask, we need to put the best of the best in the mask. Our feet are not enough. So now, you're going to put the abs on. I need to pull it out and pull it out. And you can see it with a big pull. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. 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 Okay. Good. 咁而家我覆先多啲嘢，好轉啦，好，將個好難捉落，跟住多少少嘢睇 ，open up， 開開 ，and lean back， lean back， 跟住多少少，你 lean back 完之後咧，呢度出咗嚟少少，好，再嚟，好，等先，翻翻啱啱嗰度，誒，同埋做一陣，等先，翻翻啱啱嗰度先 ，OK， 轉。係啊，呢個轉啲啲嚟。得唔得？你轉完放邊邊 ？OK， 去翻啱啱嗰度。嚟。好，等先，等先，去翻啱啱嗰度先，去翻啱啱嗰度，係啦，慢慢嚟，轉啦。好 ，OK， boss。一隻手曲，翻過嚟呢邊少少，跟住先轉。OK。如果要飲水唔好，就飲水啊！我哋又唔好唔好。唔好留翻嘢嘢先有，好 ，OK， cool， and face the back。喺學
后面嘅练下，啱啱我执过啲嘢。And face the front. Number one, number two switch. Good stop. 裁判叫咗你转位，第一时间举咗手先，然后之后就转过嚟啦。行嘅途中唔好放松个腹，去到位置即刻 hit 翻个 front post。OK， 中途转位前啦，唔好放松个腹，全程焗实焗实焗实。Number one, number two switch. Number three, number four, switch. And face the back. And face forward. Okay, number one, number four, switch place. Don't let go of the foot. Don't let go of the foot. 行嘅時候唔好放鬆，唔好放鬆。Hit the front post, face the back. And face forward. Good， 好，搞掂。調位，我哋嚟三 round。當而家喺台上面。If you need to hold your core as tight as possible throughout the whole whole stage performance, including the transition and call out and switching position, it's so freaking hard. If you have to breathe out all the time, I was like deoxygenated if I'm holding that pose for a prolonged period of time. Super hard. 呢位咧就係嚟緊一個禮拜內會比賽嘅師兄，阿 Andy 師兄，請問你為咗呢一個比賽誒、嗯、準備咗幾多個月或者幾多個禮拜？應該五個月到啊。五個月好，請問你健身嘅年資大概幾耐？四年。四年。你今年係幾多歲？廿，今年廿三咯，依家廿二，我做緊嘢，依家做緊嘢。想問啦、啊，即係譬如好似香港你咁樣，工時比較長嘅話，你要 prep 嘅時候、呃、通常係備餐比較多定係通常都係食？備餐，備餐。誒，你話你話 booking 嘅時候，通常出街食㗎啦，真係。哦，原來咁樣。每日要帶幾多餐你？帶兩三餐嘅，帶兩三餐都係雞胸加飯嘅，即係雞胸加飯，係我追好快。哇！誒，朝早起身，早起身要嚟。淨係淨係早少起身煮個飯已經 OK 啦，係啊，即係早三四十分鐘煲定飯，跟住出門口執定搞掂。而家我明白低體脂嘅時候會有少少副作用啦。你有冇失眠啦？情緒方面可能會好浮動啦。運動表現可能會下降，你會會唔會有呢一啲嘅表現喺度？哦、一定發生，體脂一定發生呢啲，不成效果我就唔知啦。係啊。個訓練力量咧就實一定跌㗎呢個，精神我臨尾先會，真係臨尾一兩個禮拜先會咯。哦，係會唔會話夜晚半夜誒、呃、半夜扎醒咗？可能會我訓練咗應該，因為訓練嘅之前翻屋企應該八九個鐘都未夠可能，跟住依家跟住依家五六個鐘都自動大嘅。通常夜晚十二點瞓瞓啊嘛。嚇！五至五點鐘六點鐘咁頂到。點鐘嚇？本身係做文職啊，定係一啲勞動性？做緊教練，做緊教練，所以啲時間彈性啲，但係都都都比較爽脆咯，大佬。我都知做教練嗰個活動。量比較大啦，你會唔會再加上一啲有氧訓練去提升翻你整體嘅熱量消耗？因為我本身唔係易減嗰啲啊，係啊，所以教練嘅安排加啲會比較大。如果係增肌期間，會唔會話有一個磅數喺度？即、就、係、是、你嘅目標就係每個月增某一啲 percentage 嘅。一個月一 percent 到最好嘅，最好係一個月一 percent 到。一個月一 percent， 唔該曬 ，Andy 師兄。Now it's several days after the show. Although I'm not planning to compete at any time soon, I'd like to see how my look can improve after a slight adjustment on my poses. And the other real reason why I'm going there for a posing workshop is to try out those damn beautiful Prime Fitness USA machines. <laughs> I have to be honest, that is by far the best gym in Hong Kong. If you are looking for the best machines in the world, Fit Culture Hong Kong is definitely the place you are looking for in Hong Kong. As you can see, I forgot most of what Coach Ao has said after he adjusted my poses. Now, after reviewing my past mistakes, here's how it looks now. Obviously, I'm quite bloated and my midsection is not nearly defined yet. Since I'm shuffling down at least 4,000 calories per day down my throat and the food volume is freaking huge. And like what Coach Ao said, I don't really have enough mass for me to find too many 
many details yet. I will give myself two more years before thinking about competing, which means that I will probably not be competing in Hong Kong since I'm probably leaving Hong Kong in about one year. Now, I'd like to talk about what I think about Coach Al, what I've learned from the perspective of a personal trainer and a trainee. I've not been personally coached by Coach Al personally, but here's the thought of me after that one single session. One, his respect to the competitors. He didn't call the participants this man or this bro, he called them these athletes. This might sound like a minor thing, but being called as an athlete is super duper cool. It's like when people say, hey bro, I'll be like, hey what's up, but if I'm called hey athlete, I was like, <laughs> It sounds so professional and it makes me feel like I'm not here to play a game, but rather to fight a battle. But two, his open attitude. When Coach Al asked us how our diet looks like, one or two competitors said that they didn't eat a single carb. They drink chicken breast water, aka boiled chicken breast blended with water. Yuck. At that moment, I was astonished, but Coach Al didn't show any criticism at all. He just looked at the competitors with no judgment, with his sincere eyesight, and gave them straight to the point advice. This reminds me that we all have our start where we are innocent and don't know much about training and nutrition. It's completely fine and it's nothing to be judged. Instead of spending time cringing at people's misconception, a better use of time would simply be to help them out. Number three, his humbleness. Although he's a posing coach, at some point when he was coaching a classic physique competitor, Andy, he admitted that he might not be posing as good as his client, Matt. He invited Matt, who is a very humble and jacked guy, to help with Andy's posing. That was such a wholesome moment when competitors Editors of the same group help each other to become the best versions of themselves. And Andy is so humble and glad to be coached by Matt as well. I was truly astonished by the humbleness of all three of them. Number four, his honesty. I'm a freaking skinny dude despite training for five years. He didn't just give up on me just because I was skinny and looked absolutely horrible. He gave me honest advice that I need to add more mass, have a better core control, and taught me how I could show my best look. <laughs> He could have just accepted the money, been lazy, and said that I'm stage ready. But instead, he gave me his honest thoughts. Rather than sweet sounding fake words, I'd much rather hear harsh and honest advice. That's what get me to truly become his better self. I've been speaking way more than I thought, and I think I have to stop here. You're wondering, I'm not sponsored by them by any means. This is my honest opinion, and I wish all the contestants who are competing soon their best of luck. The lighting on the stage is bright, but nothing's brighter than the fire in your heart. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to follow my journey. See you soon.